episode of Coin is a story interview session. Uh, it's a program where we invite innovators and uh, enthusiasts and men of Southerns who are doing amazingly well in the blockchain fintech and emerging tech space. So today we'll be talking about a blockchain and the healthcare sector. So I have with me a great innovator in the ecosystem, David Kopser, who is the CEO and CrypGen. David, you're welcome to Coin is a story. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to, to have you. So how is it? What's happening over there in Mexico? Yeah, as you, as you know, I, I'm located in Mexico and um, Mexico is going through, I think it's worst time right now with um, COVID-19, uh, but hopefully we'll come out of it on the other end very soon. In fact, we'll be looking at the blockchain and the healthcare sector. So before we go straight to that particular topic, could you just give us a brief about your background? Sure. So um, I have, uh, I'm a lawyer and I was a philosophy professor for most of my life. Um, and uh, about uh, four years ago, I started with my partner, who's also my spouse, the company EncryptGen. Um, she is a genomic scientist. And I am, a, as I mentioned, a philosopher and ethicist. And um, we were interested in creating a, a fair marketplace for genomic data uh, where people could get properly compensated for really a lot of that data um, for scientific use uh, and make sure that people have better transparency into the use of their data. Interesting. Uh, so uh, let's uh, look at uh, the current uh, situation that is happening. So we are looking at uh, how uh, this sector, the healthcare sector, is applying uh, this emerging tech. Uh, you know, since uh, technology is making things easier, so we are looking at uh, how is the healthcare sector really applying emerging technologies. So um, blockchain has a number of um, uh, um, possibilities in the healthcare uh, field that are being explored by companies like mine and. Uh, a number of other companies I'm working with, including um, uh, Afia Record and Adalabs. Uh, the, the idea is that blockchain can help us to uh, improve the transparency into the use of data, um, provide a way of exerting your ownership of that data and, health, and, and give you access also to um, portable healthcare records um, that are managed on a blockchain and that allow for um, audit trails and um, verification of the authenticity of the data. So basically data provenance as well. Um, in uh, broader terms, um, blockchain also promises to improve logistics um, for the flow of goods and, and services in the healthcare sector. So for instance, with vaccines and um, uh, um, uh, PPE and other uh, necessary um, uh, medical goods and services as they flow through networks, we can better track and, uh, again, ensure the proper provenance of the, of the goods that we're moving around in, uh, that are meant to help uh, with healthcare. Those are just some of the many um, potentials. We're also working, um, in my case, and, um, and with um, other uh, companies to do um, settlements of um, payments in healthcare uh, services through the blockchain. Interesting. Uh, what areas uh, do you think uh, the blockchain can play? Uh, what particular area in the healthcare sector do you think blockchain can be applied? Yeah. So I mean, besides those those three areas, I'm most I'm most interested in how um, blockchains are able to um, give us a you know, a data infrastructure uh, where the um, security and privacy. Uh, and ownership of um, personal health care records uh, can be maintained, overseen, um, and ensured uh, by using uh, the, the immutable um, uh, record that uh, blockchain gives us, this ability to be able to create basically a live, ongoing public uh, um, uh, spreadsheet, really, 
of, of data um, is so powerful in being able to uh, ensure uh, that individuals have better control of that, their personal health care data. It's also really important for tracking um, goods, uh, vaccines, for instance, which, which are going to be uh, so essential to combating the current pandemic. Um, we want to make sure that we're getting authentic vaccines um, from manufacturer to uh, customer um, and that we are able to uh, track lots of vaccines um, um, in case of any adverse events. Um, and blockchains are going to be very critical to that infrastructure as well. Interesting. Uh, so what we want to look at now, uh, they are applying these uh, technologies. Uh, there are some uh, challenges when it comes to applying blockchain in the healthcare sector. Are there some challenges that is being faced? Yeah, this is a, the major challenges that we're facing and we're seeing with healthcare products and blockchain have to do with privacy. So, you know, blockchain gives you this ultimate transparency and it only gives you generally pseudonymity. It doesn't give you complete anonymity. So block, blockchain poses a challenge for maintaining the privacy of personal health records uh, because, uh, you know, it's a major advantage is that it gives us um, uh, absolute proof about the origin of, of an entry. Um, and that's not necessarily helpful if you're trying to create privacy for individual health records. Um, so that's, that's a big challenge and uh, a, a number of different approaches uh, are being employed to try to uh, ensure that while we, uh, while we implement these blockchain-based platforms, we're not giving up on individual privacy um, that's both um, uh, required by regulation uh, and by our ethics about uh, medical data and, and health records. Interesting. I've been, uh, uh, been able to discover some of these challenges when it comes to applying blockchain technology. Uh, just briefly, how do you think uh, um, what should be done to exactly uh, avoid these or overcome these challenges? Are there some modifications that should be made uh, is it on the blockchain or on the medical uh, healthcare sector? So there's a number of things. One is we need to implement uh, better standards for healthcare records uh, globally um, so that uh, data is more trans transportable, um, more easy to take with us from place to place, um, and uh, so that uh, physicians and other medical practitioners are able to access and read the data um, no matter where they are. Uh, that's one thing, and that's a, that's aside from blockchain. But you know, I, I think one of the big areas of research and one of the areas we're working at in EncryptGen and um, at Afia Record and, and BT Block and some of the other companies I'm working with is um, federated data solutions. So this is a this is a real big potential breakthrough um, that will solve privacy issues uh, by allowing us to keep the the record itself in one place. Um, encrypted um, and allow us to do queries on that data without revealing all the data. So federated data and federated analytics is going to be, I think, a major part of the what we'll see emerging in um, healthcare tech uh, over the next five to 10 years. That's gonna revolutionize uh, um, the field and allow us to implement blockchain solutions more um, uh, ethically. Listen, thank you very much. Uh, before we draw the cutting on today's episode of Coin News Extra Interview Session, uh, what, what's your closing remark on, on this? I'm sorry, what I'm, what's your closing remark? My, my closing remark is, you know, um, companies like uh, EncryptGen and, and Afia and others uh, who are uh, building these solutions now, um, hinge uh, uh, their success hinges upon, our success hinges upon uh, user adoption as well, and that's a really a two-sided issue. I hope people will start to explore and implement uh, solutions, realize the benefits for individuals and for society and being able to um, access the data better and implement privacy solutions better. So, uh, but it depends on us as, as users uh, to push for these solutions or nothing will change. So please join us. Interesting. Thank you very much. It's been a, 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 a very wonderful moment with you, uh, David Kofser, who is the CEO of Anchorin Gen. So it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much, David. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's our pleasure. To